I think that this deal is like the NBC uh, Comcast deal, and I, for the life of me, I can't understand why the Justice Department isn't treating it the same in terms of the remedies it sought uh, when AT&T and Time Warner decided to merge. With respect to the judge, uh, he's a very well-respected judge. He's a, a Bush appointee. Uh, he's been very middle of the road, applies the law. I, I think he looks at each case on its fact, but I have to also think that he's going to wonder why a very similar case was before him not all that long ago, and suddenly the Justice Department has adopted an entirely new theory, and one that to my mind is completely inconsistent with economic analysis as it's developed over the last 20 and 30 years. Here's the thing, I, I read his eight-page statement when he approved the deal uh, of Comcast and NBC. He was skeptical. He wasn't convinced that the remedies were going to work, that they were enforceable. He allowed it to go through anyways. I wonder if there's any whisper of doubt as a result of some of the things that he said back then? Well, fair question, but before you get to the question of remedy, you should ask if there's a problem that needs remedying. Uh, typically, virtually always, the government's concerned about mergers that eliminate competition. These two companies don't compete with each other. Time Warner creates programming, TV shows, uh, AT&T distributes it. Uh, they do not compete. There's not one job lost, not one factory closed, no assets moved overseas, no elimination of competition. We always assume vertical mergers, which this is, meaning different levels of the distribution scale, actually create efficiencies. They reduce transactions mm -hmm. costs, all of which is to the benefit of consumers. So I think the judge is going to grapple with that question here, whereas he, he took that as a given in the, in the last case where it was simply a consent decree that was before him. Yeah, and Richard, listen, it's, it's going to be very easy for us sitting here to say, well, is the president himself sort of going after CNN because they're well-known problems? Is he influencing the DOJ because of what he had said in that, in that soundbite that we had run? Do you believe that the president has any influence at all whether or not the government filed this lawsuit? Well, there's no other rational explanation. Uh, I've been keeping track of mergers and acquisitions and uh, antitrust policy over 30 years. I've looked at Democratic and Republican administrations. This is a weak case. I could not imagine a Republican administration uh, being willing to bring this uh, case uh, based on these facts. It doesn't make any sense. And yet we have the president constantly tweeting about CNN and attacking CNN. And we know that political motivations underlie a lot of the decision making in the White House. And but what about in the DOJ, so Rich? I hear what you're saying. But in the DOJ, do you believe the White House would have any influence as to whether or not the Department of Justice would file this antitrust lawsuit? We don't know till we get the facts uh, as to what influence there was in the White House. In the Nixon White House, the president himself actually told the Department of Justice to drop an antitrust suit against AT&T. And that was caught on tape, and the attorney general actually had to resign because he wasn't truthful to Congress about that. So they need to have hearings, and they need to find out who said what, not only in the White House, but in the Department of Justice, what the motivations are mm -hmm. behind this, because it makes absolutely no sense. And we see that we have a president here, he can't even part two turkeys without bringing up the Obama turkeys and talking about he'd like to have them on his Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner table. Uh, it's really a, a situation where we have no confidence in the decisions being made in this administration, whether they're being made on the merits or just sheer right. vindictiveness in politics. If we can hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.